The battle for women's 200m supremacy has continued to intensify even as the countdown for the World Athletic Championships nears the end, and two female athletes who have come out as strong contenders for gold at the Worlds are Jamaican Sherika Jackson and American Gabby Thomas. These two sprint stars have raised a lot of anxiety among fans as people wonder who is likely to win the race. Lucky enough, before the Worlds, we're gonna witness these two women who stand as the fastest female sprinters this year go head-to-head -head in the women's 200m race at the prestigious Monaco Diamond League. Will Gabby claim victory over Sherika Jackson and solidify her position over the event? Be sure to watch this video until the end to find out. And if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to never miss an update whenever we post. So let's get started with the video. For those of you who are true fans of track and field, you definitely know that Monaco Diamond League has always been a stage for remarkable performances. And honestly, this upcoming clash on the 21st of July promises to be no different. Gabby is coming into this race as a favourite to win owing to her incredible performance so far this season. And even though last season didn't end well for her after she forfeited her chance at the Worlds due to an injury this season, Gabby is in fine form, ready to make history over the event. She has displayed incredible consistency, throwing down phenomenal times over the 200 meters, which has increased fans' confidence in her. Gabby opened her 200m campaign this season at the Texas Relays, where she won the event with 22.46 seconds. And while some thought that she would slow down going forward, she just proved a formidable contender once again by winning the women's 200m at the 2023 Texas Invite with a time of 22.21 seconds. She didn't stop there and went on to deliver yet another impressive performance at the 2023 Paris Diamond League where she emerged victorious with a time of 22.05 seconds. However, the highlight of her 2023 indoor and outdoor season was her impressive performance at the USATF Championships at Hayward Fields in Eugene. In this event, Gabby just went crazy, outpacing her nemesis, like Shikari Richardson, Abby Steiner and Kayla White, among others, to set a world lead and a meeting record of 21.6 seconds over the 200 meters. This was quite unexpected, as it just improved her personal best. But amid the unexpected success of Gabby Thomas over the 200 meters, is stiff competition right from Jamaican's favorite and world champion Sherika Jackson. Jackson, who recently won the finals of the women's 200 meters at the Jamaican National Championships with a time of 21.71 seconds, stands as the second fastest woman this season. And even though she burst onto the scene in 2016 as a 400 meter sprinter after winning an Olympic bronze medal in the event, followed by silver at the 2019 World Championships, Jackson has quickly transitioned to become a strong contender over the 200 meters. Her strength in the event caught the attention of the media and fans around the world after she won the women's 200 meters at the 2022 World Athletic Championships in Budapest, Hungary, with a scorching time of 21.45 seconds. This was phenomenal, making Jackson the fastest woman alive over the event. Now, this is enough to tell you that the upcoming battle at Monaco between the world leader Gabby Thomas and the fastest woman alive Sharika Jackson is going to be nothing short of an epic showdown. On one hand is Jackson. Jackson, who is known for her explosive starts and exceptional bend running, ready to defend her title. And on the other hand is Gabby, a true speed demon on the track who is relentless to let Jackson dominate over the event. In fact, in a sideline interview at the National Championships event, Gabby made it clear that Cherica Jackson is the reason she pushed herself to run faster to set the new world lead, meeting record, and new personal best because she just couldn't allow Jackson to dominate both 200 and 100 meters back and forth. Honestly, this is a matchup that's been brewing up for years, and the aftermath of the Monaco Diamond League will ultimately determine who will eventually clinch goal at the Worlds. So there you have it guys, who do you think will win the women's 200 meters at the Monaco Diamond League? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.